racing. And we have a new setup and a new baby. Welcome to the vlog. Hey Jake, how's it going? Um, please tell us a little bit about our ride. This whip is a 1996 <laughs> Nissan Atlas from Japan. Yeah. Right hand drive. Okay, show us. A little mini tour. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Very cool. And it's got a second row for seating. Oh yeah. Bigger than the F-150. <laughs> and tell us a little bit about the other truck that you had. That was really cool too. Well, it was a mini truck and it was just, you know, at like a 30% of this, but with yep. no second door. Yeah. And then we had this squirt, so. Yeah. <laughs> And you're on a new bike, which you have yet to ride, right? So tell us about that. I have not ridden it at all. 22 Yamaha 450. Okay. And I have a 125, but I raced it once and didn't do very well, so. Okay. Had to upgrade that too. <laughs> so the last race that you did was the um, Enduro near Jacksonville. And you did that on the 125. Right, and I didn't do terrible. I got like 12 foot roll or something, but. You know, it was a struggle. Why? This was in Too town. much work? Yeah, those 125s require a lot of body language that I didn't really have the <laughs> the enthusiasm that you need to win on a 125. It requires a lot of enthusiasm. I think a lot of your fans were looking forward. Edit in post will make this sound like a 125. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> but graphics look awesome. Um, Wally from Image Graphics did a great job on our graphics. He did Jake's number plates, and then he also did my graphics, which I didn't show you guys before. So here are both bikes. This is a really fun and cool setup we got going on. The size of this truck flipped down and- Yeah, and it's, it, it, the sides go up. Yeah. And I installed this thing. Yeah. Which, uh, it's just one row of E-Track and these pegs, because this truck had nowhere to tie tie downs to. Yeah. You could tie them around here, but then they would just slide up. So I was gonna have to drill something. And then I'd seen this online and and in the front corners of our enclosed trailer, you're inside the trailer and you have to try to reach in this corner and, and you're kind of in like a no man's land. You try to tighten these bikes down. So this is gonna go in the trailer also. And I need to do like a close up on this cause this is pretty cool. It like hangs yeah, so like on. If you pull the bike really hard, you know, you can pull this off. And then really we're supposed to, that's what these hooks are for. We're supposed to have like a bungee or another tie down that goes from, from uh, mechanism to mechanism to kind of hold it from accidentally. If you get a huge bump, you know, we wouldn't want it to fall off. But, right. Uh, but you'd have to hit a hell of a bump for that. All right. So we're ready to go racing. Um, our like race morning routine is going to be a little bit different now that we have, I feel like, oh gosh, okay, hold on. I have an itchy nose. Okay. Our race routine is going to be a little bit different. Um, we're trying to not go to the gas station in the morning like we normally do, just because it's a lot of work with the baby trying to take turns and yada yada. Dog is staying at home just to make it a little bit easier on us. And <laughs> Grant's first hair scramble. We're super stoked. Yeah. Back to this truck. Look how cool it is these sides fold down so you can load things in sideways. Like this easy up in a regular truck would have had to go in that they could have got it in here. Uh, uh, like this. Yeah, Grant agrees. It is very cool, and it's pretty low to the ground, so it's easy to load up as well. And 30 miles to the gallon. <laughs> 30 miles to the gallon. And there's still plenty of space um, in the middle to load up more stuff, which is really neat, too. Did you get that in there otherwise? Yeah. I will say I was not a fan of this truck initially when Jake brought it home, but after seeing that you can close the tailgate, you can load up potentially three bikes, Jake said. I am much more so a fan, so. And the back seats are very spacious. I was kind of shocked. All right, we're gonna clean up the rest of our shop here, finish packing up, and then we'll see you guys in the morning. Somebody's very excited. He's gonna be a star. <laughs> minor release form and it's 
going in the memory box. It's so cute. He even got a wristband. I mean, this is your, for Jake and I. The third one's in my wallet, so I don't lose it. Uh, we left at 5 a.m. from our house. It wasn't too bad of a drive. Yeah, huh, Jake? You weren't driving. <laughs> I was sitting here. Grant started crying for like three minutes, so I went and I sat in the back with him. This is kind of weird because I'm used to putting the camera on Jake this way, but because I'm sitting on the opposite side, I have to hold the camera this way. It's very odd. Anyway, it wasn't a bad drive at all. So now we're going to go register and we'll catch up with you guys in a moment. Dad life. Doing great. You guys see Jake trying to entertain the baby in the background because he's crying. That's gonna be our new normal. I also forgot my black pair of pants, so I'm gonna mix match. I mean, they still kind of match. That they have the same like decals, so it'll look fine. But... Is he hungry? Maybe. I fed him an hour ago, but we can feed him again. I got a pump. This is fun.
right, you guys, I'm filming the outro now because I completely forgot to vlog for the remainder of the day. I got, I was so busy that I didn't even think twice about it. So, um, obviously with a baby, he takes priority now. Um, he was pretty fussy yesterday and he was a handful. So that's going to be one of the new challenges for us is just bringing a baby to the track, packing all this stuff, uh, making sure he's content, making sure he's okay. And then taking turns, making sure we're on time. But yesterday my mom was there to help us out. So that was, I'm, I'm really grateful for that. Um, I ended up finishing fourth in woman's a, my first lap was fine. And then each lap after that just got slower and slower. It is what it is. I need to get in shape. Um, Jake ended up, uh, I don't exactly remember where he placed, but he did great. Um, I don't think that he finished where he had hoped to finish, but there's a lot of talent. Um, and he was still fast. I'm really proud of him. So, um, that was that the track itself was pretty bummed out. Um, it's a very similar trail each year and that's one of the challenges. It's just bumpy and you've got to hold onto your bike. It's not challenging in the sense that it's tight single trail. Um, it's, it's challenging in the sense that it's slippery. It's, you just got to hold on and it's tough on your body. Um, my forearms are super sore this morning. It's Monday. Um, and I'm sure that the rest of my body is going to be sore, um, as we move on throughout the day. Woodsman Cup is this weekend. So that's the next video I'll see you guys in. Um, if you haven't watched that video, um, it's basically a private event where people bring street bikes to ride on a track. So that'll be really fun. Um, Jake is going to ride his Grom. I'm going to ride a scooter, I think. And that's probably the next videos I'll see you guys in. So, um, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.